Good morning students of class 9. You are welcome back to the classes now. We are doing English. Today's date is 15th of July. We are doing the remaining portion of my childhood. So my childhood remaining portion. Now we are reached point number 4. Kalam's teacher breaks social barrier. Now here before going through this uh, breaking the social barrier let's talk about the incident that took place in uh, Abdul Kalam's class that is in class 5 because of the new teacher that Abdul Kalam was asked to go and sit at the back of the uh, class because the new teacher did not uh, want the uh, uh, Abdul Kalam to sit with the Brahman boys so now number A there are three points after the incident in the class that took place in the class in class 5 the boys, the boys means Abdul Kalam and his three friends, Ramananda Sastri, Aravindan and Siva Parkashan and Kalam himself. The boys told their parents what had happened in the class. They told their parents, <coughs> respective parents, what had happened in the, in the class. Means in, they complained. Ramananda Sastri's father, Yaniki, his friend's father, Ramanada's father, called the new teacher in his home and asked him to apologize in front of the boys. Ramanada Sastri warned him and asked him to apologize in front of the boys or quit the school or leave the school as well as the island. So he warned him that you should not spread or you should not sow the seed of hatred among the young minds. So he warned them, either you apologize or leave the school as well as the island. And warned him not to sow the seed of hatred in the young minds. So this was the uh, consequences after the event in the class. Now let's talk about the society as well as his teacher Subramaniam Iyer uh, wanted to break social barriers. Let's talk about number B. On the whole, as a whole, the small society of Rameswaram was very rigid in terms of segregation of different social groups. Rameswaram, the society was mixed. There were Hindus and Muslims, but all they lived in harmony. They lived in peace. They helped each other. Regarding their religion, regarding their society, they were very much uh, rigid. But in the society, living together and working together, they lived in harmony. However, Kalam's science teacher, Abdul Kalam's science teacher, his name was Siva Subramanya Ayer. Though an orthodox Brahmin, orthodox means deeply religious, he was a Brahmin, deeply religious. Though he was an orthodox Brahmin with a very conservative wife, his wife was very much conservative, did not want to mix with the other society, his wife. But Subramaniam Iyer was not like that. He was an educated, he was a teacher. He wanted to change the social uh, uh, ways, the social customs, or he wanted to bring some change. His wife was a very conservative and did his best. Subramaniam Iyer did his be best to break social barrier so that people from various background from various social groups could mingle, mingle means mix easily. So as a whole Rameswaram was a very peaceful place. All the people lived uh, in harmony, lived peacefully. So that's why Subramanyam Iyer wanted to break the social barrier so that certain people, some of the people they did not like to mix. They were very very much conservative just like his wife. So that's why he wanted to teach his wife not to be so conservative 
because human beings are a social animal so we need to live in peace together so that's the lesson he wanted to teach his wife that's why he wanted to break the social barrier now number c for that reason for that reason he invited kalam he invited kalam to his home for a meal meal means for food so he asks abdul kalam he is a student to come to his home for a meal so at that time abdul kalam hesitated and his teacher said if you want to bring some change naturally you have to confront these type of problems don't worry you please come to my home and have a meal with me so his wife was horrified his wife after hearing after coming to know that abdul kalam a muslim boy was invited to dine with them his wife was horrified at this idea she was very she was very much worried what would happen his wife was horrified at this idea she refused to serve kalam so she said i will not cook for him i will not serve for him so she said to her husband subramaniam ayer you cook the food you serve him i will not do anything for him because he does not belong to our society so she refused to serve kalam in her kitchen so that's why she refused but kalam's teacher was not disturbed he was not perturbed or disturbed he was not disturbed he even did not get angry with his wife because he wanted to change the view the idea of his wife so that's why he was not angry he did not complain he did not get angry he was not disturbed instead he served kalam when kalam went and met his teacher his teacher asked him to sit there and they talked and they had food they served instead he he means his teacher subramaniam ayer served kalam with his own hands and sat down beside abdul kalam to eat his meal because he wanted to change the way the social barrier he wanted to break as well as he wanted to teach his wife his wife watched them while subramaniam ayer and kalam were eating in the baranda his wife watched them from behind the kitchen door she intently watched these two eating their meal from behind the kitchen door so in our next kalam was invited again after finishing the food they had a talk then after that his teacher again invited him kalam you come to the next next week you please come again for a meal kalam was invited again at that time he hesitated and his teacher said you have to confront these problems once you decided to change the system once you decide to change the system naturally you have to face these problems but don't worry you please come to my home next week in the coming week and we'll have a food again so his teacher said in this way so we'll meet in the next class and will do kalam was invited again that one that's all for today thank you very much for watching keep on watching now get ready for your history classes now